Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a Easter manicure. I'm using the Square Hue Olay and Charo. I've started off this manicure with my Neltix Formula 2 base coat. I'm just going to apply that to all of my nails, making sure to cap them. If you hear that jingling, that's my sweet little baby dog, Cotton. He's happy. <laughs> and here is Square Hue Olay. It's a beautiful purple, purple shimmer. And here's Charo, and it's a very bright spring green. My camera cut out, so I'm not going to get the rest of the recording. So at least you get to see me applying the first coat. You can see these polishes have a great formula. I really do like them. And here we're going to go in for our second coat. And I just love this purple one. Ugh. It's just so pretty. And the green one's just gorgeous. I love it too. I'm going to add a second coat to both of these. Before we move on. There we go. And I'm going to top this off with some pure ice girl on the run. Get it to dry down so I've got a nice base to do my stamping. And I do have a little fuzzy on my finger. Pardon me. <laughs> I knew it was time to get into some Easter nails. And here we go. I'm going to be using the You Are Beautiful, I think it's 08. I'm having so much trouble keeping up, guys. it's the one with all the Easter spring images. Today I'll be stamping with the Born Pretty White and my monocle stamper and I'll be using the Fabio Nail Scraper today. I'm picking up this little bunny head and I'm going to put it on my accent finger and my thumb. I thought it was really cute. Just a little bunny head with this little fuzzy ears. And that one didn't pick up so well. I'm going to give that a do-over. And you'll have to pardon my voice. I'm catching the spring funk. Everything around here is covered in yellow and green dust. And I have not avoided the seasonal allergies this year. So pardon me. And I'm going to turn this plate around and I'm going to try to use this other image. And this is the big egg image. And I know this isn't going to fit on all of my nail, but that's okay. I'm going to get what I can. That one didn't pick up so well either. I'm going to give it another try. Much, much better. We're going to go with that one. And I'm going to put this one on my pointer finger. And as you can see, some of it on the top didn't go. My nails are so curvy that sometimes I can't get that roll going on good. So here's how we're going to fix it. I'm going to get the plate ready for some more stamping. And I'm going to take a piece of tape and remove the part of the stamping I don't like. There we go. And now I'm going to use that same polish in the same image, and I'm just going to pull the top part of that image. Try to isolate it. And then we're going to go in and just add it to it. And there we go. Good enough. <laughs> I think y'all been hearing me say that quite a bit here lately. I haven't had any real perfect stamping, but I've had good enough. Now I'm going to use these little tiny Easter eggs, and I'm going to use three of them on my middle finger and just kind of 
fill that nail in with some little images of Easter eggs. It's kind of hard to choose. There were so many cute ones. I didn't know which ones I wanted. I wanted to use all of them. One more. Which one? Okay, we're going to go with that one. There we go. So far, I'm liking it. I was really ready for some Easter nails. I actually had intended on doing more Easter manicures this year. And I'm going to try to get this other little bunny up in the top for my pinky nail. And no, he didn't, he didn't want to come this time. Clean that off and give it another try. This might have been the way I was pressing down on the stamper. I'm really bad about wanting to press straight down and sometimes you have to roll to get the images up so that's what we're gonna have to remember next time maybe <laughs> and I've just got a tiny bit of cleanup to do and I'm gonna get that up with some tape worked really well and get this stuff out of the way. We're going to top it off with some pure ice. Girl on the run. <coughs> Excuse me. I told you the funk's getting me. Now I want you to notice how white these bunnies are. And then now how not white they are. My top coat changed a little bit. He's kind of like the hidden bunny. But he still shows up so I left him and I decided not to do anything else with it. It's okay. Here we go. We're just going to apply that top coat on all of these nails and seal that design in. <clears throat> Capping those ends real well make this bunny rabbit kind of disappear. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's not as noticeable though. And I thought about re-stamping over it, but I thought, eh, forget it. I kind of liked him being all kind of incognito. And here's a picture of my manicure. I hope you liked this one. Leave me a comment down below. I always love chatting with you about nails. Thanks for watching. Until next time.